Welcome to the Mount of Olives. Behind me, the amazing view of Jerusalem. We see the city walls as well as the Temple Mount walls. And behind me, where the Dome of the Rock stands, the building with the gold, I bet you guys have never seen that before, right? No pictures of Israel show you this. Well, this place, the Dome of the Rock, is exactly standing in the spot where the second temple used to stand. We know that prophecy tells us that the Messiah is going to come before the second temple is destroyed. And Yeshua actually stands from the Mount of Olives where I'm standing now looking down at the second temple and is weeping. He weeps over Jerusalem because he says no brick from the temple will be left standing on top of each other. And of course, this happened several years after Yeshua was crucified and raised again. And we know that Yeshua is the Jewish Messiah, not only for the Jewish people, but for the entire world and all the nations has fulfilled in prophecy. Another prophecy was fulfilled here. It is here that Yeshua came down on a donkey from the Mount of Olives to enter into Jerusalem, just has the prophets spoke about and the people they laid palm trees and palm branches for him and screamed out hoshana 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 means save us save us save us they knew he was the messiah they were asking him to save them but save them from what because these same people several of them three days later are screaming Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. They were upset. They thought that the Messiah was going to come and immediately destroy the entire Roman Empire and save them physically from their captives, the Romans, and free Jerusalem and make Jerusalem a Jewish Jerusalem again. And now when they didn't get exactly what they wanted, the way they wanted, you know, sometimes we don't have the whole picture. God has the whole picture. We don't see the whole picture. And when they didn't get the salvation in the way that they wanted, three days later, they're screaming, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. Let's not be like the people who saw the miracles of Yeshua, who witnessed him with their own eyes. And three days later, because they didn't get what they wanted from him, scream, crucify him. Sometimes we don't understand God's plan for our lives. Sometimes God has a bigger picture and the bigger picture is not something we can see. And we just have to take step by step faith steps of faith towards him and towards that bigger picture and trust that God has the bigger picture for us. But Yeshua did come to set them free. He did come, he did bring salvation and he brought salvation and he did bring peace, but that was inner peace. And when he comes back again, he will reign in Jerusalem, just as they had hoped for 2000 years ago. Here on the Mount of Olives with this amazing view of Jerusalem is such a significant place for believers around the world. What happened here? We know so many different things that happened here. We know that it is from here that Yeshua entered the city of Jerusalem on a donkey. We know that it's from here after his crucifixion and resurrection that he ascended back into heaven. And we know that it is here on the Mount of Olives that he is going to return and the Mount of Olives will be split and he will come down through the golden gates behind me and he will reign over Jerusalem. And that day is a day that we are all waiting for and we wait with anticipation for Yeshua to come back. But my, you might be wondering, what is with all these graves behind me? The entire Mount of Olives, the modern day Mount of Olives today is covered in graves. Now, the Jews also believe that the Messiah is coming down from the Mount of Olives because this is a Jewish prophecy. And so they want to be the first ones to be resurrected. So some people pay a lot, a lot, a lot of money to be buried here on the Mount of Olives in order that they would be the first ones resurrected when the Messiah comes and the res resurrection happens. Now, I'm not sure if that's gonna exactly happen that way, but I remember when my niece Eliana was six years old and she came to the Mount of Olives and 
and God tells us to be like children, you know, because children are innocent. And she tells me, this is so amazing, Aunt Mimi, that you live here. This is so amazing. Can you call me when Yeshua comes back? Because you're probably going to see him first. <laughs> well, Eliana, I will give you a call when Yeshua comes back. And same with these guys. I don't know if they're going to be the first to be resurrected, but they are ready. They are in place. And this is why we have the graves right here on the Mount of Olives. But we will find out. And when he does come back, we will all be rejoicing.